All right, everybody. So here is another unpolished video about Super Slicer. And I wanted to take the time to go ahead and record this because I just found this out or figured this out. And uh, it's been something that's been driving me crazy with Super Slicer. So um, what we're talking about today is generating brim ears, which are basically little round discs that will um, go on to the edges, of basically the corners of your 3D print um, so that it'll hold that corner down to the bed a little bit better. So if you've ever had anything that you're 3D printing where like, let's take this, this box, say we were printing this box and when you're printing it, like the, the corners start to kind of curl up from the bed. Now, a lot of those issues can be solved with different, you know, bed adhesion fixes, making sure your first layer is right, making sure your bed's clean and you know, all that stuff. But sometimes it just, it just peels up or it just starts curling up for no reason. So for example, these, and I've, I've printed several of these and they, they piss me off every time they screw up, right? But this one, um, as you can see, uh, it, <laughs> the in started curling up and that's an issue with this print uh, for me uh, ever since I started printing it. Like I've, I've fixed all kinds of other issues with it where there was some spotting and some issues with the, the gaps in the, in the um, top layer info. You can't really see it on the camera, but um, I did put a, a, a knowledge base article on my um, site, superherodiy.com, where you can see how to fill in those gaps from the edges. This one printed perfectly and I was so happy with it, except for the in for some reason started curling up and I, I melted it down with a heat gun to try to uh, <laughs> fix this and push it back down because it was like a seven hour print, used all this material and I've used all this material, right? But I, I couldn't print it, but you can see how kind of warped the, the in is and it really, it really started peeling up and there's really no reason for it. This is PETG. Uh, I believe this is this is a uh, Hatchbox uh, uh, yellow with some Ziltec red uh, PETG. You know, my my bed's set to um, I think 90 degrees, um, 85 for the first layer, 90 for the subsequent layers. It's super clean. It's the textured sheet from Prusa. Uh, there's no reason that it should have peeled up but, and it only, only peels up on the in for some reason. And it's not like that's not enough surface area for it to, to hold. So I really, I really don't know what the deal is. So what I'm gonna try next is to try some brim ears on all the corners of this print. So how do you do that? So there's, there's a couple of different ways um, when you're in your slicer. Now let's, let's go to the slicer now. So I'm gonna go ahead and share on my screen. So this is, this is super slicer, right? And um, uh, where can I put me? <laughs> there we go. So, you know, there's a couple of ways you could do this, right? In, in, in Prusa slicer or super slicer, you can go ahead and, and click on your model, right click, and you can add part and you could say, uh, how about a cylinder? And then you can hit the scale button and scale it down so that it's like super thin. And then, you know, you're gonna have to like move it down uh, and it's a real pain, but <laughs> move it down so it's like just above the bed and then move it over. And like, you know, this is where it's peeling up. So that is where I would put it. Um, and you know, this, this works looking at it, it's 0.5 millimeters. You know, you could set this to the same height as your first layer height. So if you go into print settings, you go to, um, oh, where is it slicing? Uh, first layer height is set to 0.2, right? On from, for this print. So I could set this to just 0.2 instead of scaling and I'll set the height to 0.2 and well, it disappeared. I honestly don't know what happened there. Um, Let's get it back. Okay. I don't know what I did. I don't know why it doesn't like that. I'm going to go ahead and, and move to the scale then since it's being funny. So it's 0 0.43, 0 0.2. Okay. So maybe that's like a, the smallest you can have it, but it does show up there. It's going to be real thin. And then I'm going to take off a setting here that makes it um, oh, it's already off. This avoid crossing parameters. This actually makes it um, slice really slow. So when you slice that, 
like it should show up, um, you know, and, and it should, should be okay. And, and that would actually work, but it would be, it'd be very much part of your print. So, um, you know, you can add parts to your print and you can do things like this that, um, make it, you know, make it, I guess, help <laughs> things like this. And, and this would definitely help. Like this isn't the great, the greatest uh, color to show this. I don't know if, you know, that's more helpful, but like, it's, it's very much a part of your print. So, um, you know, I, I could cut this off maybe with like a razor blade or something because it is very thin, um, but that's not exactly what I want. And like, if I want to add this to every corner, I can, you know, and, and actually now that I have like the sizing and the positioning, right, I could do that. Okay. Um, now it's, but now it's like, I don't know, it's being a pain. It doesn't want me to select just this part. Like I gotta come over here and then I'm hitting control C, paste, and then I'm dragging it over. And you can do that and that's fine. But Super Slicer actually does have a way to generate these. Um, and it's really, it's really just nice, I think. It generates the brim for you, the brim ears for you. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you're gonna, you know, take your part here. It's actually in print settings. So there's there's two ways. So it's in print settings or you can just right click and you can add settings and then go to skirt and brim and then select brim ears. And that's what's a, what that's going to do is put this little setting right down here for you to, to check it on. But notice it's grayed out. You can't check it, right? There's a reason for that. And that's because I don't have my brim on. So you have to enable a brim for this setting to be generated or to be available, right? Because you can't generate brim when you have it off, just like you can't generate supports if you have supports off, right? So if I have this support enforcers only checked or set on, but I don't have supports on, so it didn't generate supports. Same thing with brim. So you got to check that on first. And then, you know, what that's going to do it when you just have brim on is going to generate your brim, right? But I don't want a brim all the way around this whole thing. And I should have picked like something that's faster to generate, but see like, you know, I could have a brim around the whole thing, but that's not quite what I want. What I want is just those brim ears. So when I check brim ears, what that's gonna do is generate that brim, but it's gonna generate just around the corners. And I think what it's doing, I don't 100% know, but I feel like it's, generating around the sharpest corners and so like if you look at this design these are um god now i'm like going back to geometry and i took it in like 10th grade and i hated it and so <laughs> i don't know if this is an acute or obtuse i think these are the acute angles right they're less than 45 degrees the obtuse ones which are larger are less than 90 degrees sorry um the ones that are that are opened up more probably don't need it. It's these like sharp angles. And, um, you know, certainly this is the corner that peels up quite a bit and the same with this one. So, you know, maybe this brim holding it down a little bit more, giving a little more surface area will help. And if you want to have these brims uh, larger, these brim ears larger, you can go over to skirt and brim settings over in print settings and just make this width, you know, bigger. Like say, if I want that 10, then you know I can I can do that and it's going to make it bigger, right? But you got to watch out because it like might run into your other one. That may or may not be a problem. Honestly, I think I'm going to give it a shot and see how it works. Um, and I guess the other thing with a brim as opposed to generating another part is just looking at the pattern of this. This is meant to come off. If you just add a part here, you're going to have to cut it off for sure, and it might it might look like you cut something off of your print. You know, it depends on how thick it is, um, you know, how your first layer goes down, that sort of thing. But I would prefer to have something that just like when you, when you take it off the print bed, you can just kind of pull it off like with your fingernail, you know, um, it just peels right off of it. So that's, that's why you do a brim as opposed to adding a part. And, and that's why I like these brim ears. Plus it's finding where it probably needs those brim ears to hold things down. So I'm going to try this print out, see how it goes. And then um, maybe I'll add it to this video. I'm not sure how, well, I guess I can. Um, I'll add it to the video and then uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Good news, the print did turn out well, and it's got all, well, here's the, the skirt, and then it's also got all the brim ears on all the points that we wanted them to be on, right? 
Um, and it adhered really nicely to the bed throughout the whole print, almost seven hours. Um, and the in didn't the in didn't come up um, at all. Anyway, that is how you do it. So thanks for watching, and I hope that's helpful. And if your wife would make fun of you for you know seeing you do this, then you should probably subscribe. And you know, Facebook it, Twitter it, tweet it. You know, all that cool stuff, right? So if it's dark and it's night, then you'll want to check out this sort of stuff again, right? Oh hey, thanks for watching.